everybody i'm yvette of uniquely yvette welcome to my channel or welcome back this week i'm going to try doing a diva head wreath i'm using well first of all here's my template that i just got off of the internet i traced it onto this quarter inch plywood using carbon paper the size of this piece is about nine inches wide by 14 inches tall so I'm going to use the scroll saw to cut out the shape and then I'm going to paint it. I don't have any brown paint. That's the uh, color that I like for this project. So I'm going to be using a combination of chocolate bar and chestnut to paint this piece here. And then we'll move to the designing. But first we're going to move to the scroll saw to cut the shape out. Here is the piece cut out. I'm going to sand and clean up the edges and cut this piece I forgot on the back. The shape of this top part where the hair is, that doesn't matter. It All this little curves doesn't matter. It's just basically, well, it's the way the shape came um, that I found. But also it helps me keep in mind this is the area where I'm going to do the um the hair and the hair tie so all of this will actually be covered up but it just helps me to know it helps me to visualize i guess before i get my designs on here so let me clean this up and we'll be back all right i'm going to paint i'm going to paint the brown part down across here and down and i'm going to paint up here black just in case when i do the hair I miss a spot and you can see through it. It's better it's better to have like a a brown color back there. I mean a black color back there. I ended up painting this entire thing brown. I don't know if it's a mistake or not, but I had to change my plans about how I was going to do her hair. I made pencil marks here. I might not make all these holes, but I'm going to do some testing out. I made them first I made them an inch apart going slanted up here and then after I had all those rows I just put in line dots in between those so these are probably a half inch apart and I just kind of estimated where they went after that I wanted to use this type of gauze like this I mean tulle I think it's called tulle I wanted to use this type I don't have enough I don't have the colors I want so I went down to Walmart and got this other kind. Unfortunately, I didn't have this kind. I wanted this. So if you have this and this project inspires you, I would suggest using this because it's stiffer. It'll just sit up better. And I think, anyway, I just think it looks, I just like the look of it. But this is all Walmart had where I live. And I don't live near a craft store, so I had to go with what I could. And this is very, very sheer, so... Hopefully it'll work. With this tulle and the head, I'm going to use these pipe cleaners. I would prefer to have black, but it really doesn't matter what the color is because I think they won't show. Hopefully they won't show. But I'm just going ahead with these. They came in a pack with very long pieces like this. And I just cut them in half. I may even cut them down again once I have the tulle on the head. All I'm going to do is Stick them through the holes in the back. Just choose two holes near each other. And pull them through. Pull it through. Like that. And then a lot of people will measure their tull about 10 inches across. And I think it ends up being 10 inches this way. But this one is, I don't know. I don't know what the measurement on this. But I'm not going to measure exactly. I'm going to eyeball it. And I'm going to just do some like this, like that, fold it, do it again, and do it a third time like this. Oops, okay, like that. And I need to, I already cut this piece, so I just want to make it fit the way I cut it. Okay, 
All right, so let's just estimate like that with three loops. Can you see that? And at the bottom, I'm just going to grab a, about an inch of it at the bottom, tuck it into the twist, and secure it. Twist it in there like that. Now, like I said, this is very sheer. And once I get all the hair in here, it's possible that I could still see down to these little um, twist ties. But see, the good thing about what I'm doing here is I can put another one in. And I'm just going to, well, let's see. I need another, another. All right, here's another one. So, okay. So there's another one. And because there's more of this this uh twist here i can just put another one in it and twist it again like that and like i said once everything is in then i can cut off the excess pieces but that's a see when it's cut off eventually you won't be able to tell plus i'll have i'm going to have a, a um, scarf across here but I think I should start down here and work my way up. I don't know. But anyway, that's how the hair will be. And I'm hoping it'll look fine. But let's keep going. I do have a, several different kinds of these gauzes, but they're all paper thin. I do want to not try, not overdo it, even though I'm doing it by sight. I don't want to overdo it because I can't just go in here and clip it shorter at the end because I want these, I want these loops because it just makes it look less less haphazard like having a bunch of these up. It's better to have the loops in my opinion. I'll cut off this excess down here and then, oops, I forgot to put another thing in. I'm gonna put another one in from the back. Okay. And then tuck in the base. Like this. And then we have that. What might be better is if I did this and then did this. Let me see. Fold it here in the middle. And then secure this. That's why that way you have a loop on both sides. This is a different one than the one I have at Walmart. This is one I had in my stash, so it's thicker than this. Once it gets in there, it'll fill everything out better. But so that's an option too. I did an, I did some sanding of these holes, but not a lot because it's all going to be covered up. You're not going to see the holes. I just made it neat enough not to not to hurt my hands on it. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to keep going and fill this in and see so what we're looking like at the end. This is what I end up having. I mostly did around here and I've got a couple pieces here. Got this one hole here. But like I said, I can put because I left the uh ties a little long. If I found a place that was a little thin, I could put more on it and twist it higher. I ended up with a lot thicker gauze. The, the, the little gauze I had, I had a lot more that I put here in the middle. And these edges are a little thin. I'm hoping once everything comes together at the end, it'll look better because it's looking a little crazy here. So I've got these. You can see that I've got these couple spaces here that I can put in and thicken things up. That stair is looking crazy, and I'm hoping I hope it looks fine. If if it does turn out good, I'll obviously show it at the beginning before I even start on this mess. So you'll be hopeful instead of be like, "What is that crap? I'm not watching that video." <laughs> make a loop, make a second loop. I think it's a good idea to measure the part, the pieces that are cut off. I'm just being lazy about that, and I'm just not going to do it. If you do it, that's up to you. So I'll cut here. So I've got three loops. 
with them held at the base one loop can you see that one loop two loops three loops pinched at the bottom and I'm going to put the bottom that way against the head not at the edge I'm not putting it facing the edge of the head I'm putting it toward the inside of the head twist and this is a little challenging because my thumb hurts <laughs> and that'll be it so this is our nappy headed girl <laughs> so far that I hope comes together I think it's thick enough but the question is whether it will look good once it's done I'm going to be using this leopard print scarf to go over the head to try to tame down the hair a little bit the front is going to go around this part it's a little challenging to stay in focus on the camera while also paying attention to what I'm doing. The tie is going to go across this big old hair and try to and try to control it a little bit. But let me see what I need to do. I think I need to dress up her face first before I start fighting with the hair further. I'm going to use this paint pen. It's a black paint pen. I'm going to use it to do the eyelash. And look, I don't know how well this will work, so let's just hope for the best. I don't like that color. I'm going to look for something else and look at my inspirational piece and be right back. So I'm going to try using this um, Apple Barrel Tuscan Red. So this is Red Apple. I've decided to repaint her lips that color. I'm going to try to give her a little bit of a nostril. Let's leave it like that. Before I tame her uh, hair in her hair band, I'm going to make her an earring. And I cut out this piece of quarter inch um, plywood into like a teardrop shape. And I cut a small piece of the material. So let's go ahead and glue that on here like this. Now I'm going to go around and make sure I take in all these edges and cut off the excess until it's neat. So there we are. And I'm going to just guesstimate where I should put it. So I'll just estimate about here, I guess. I don't know. And now it's time to try to tame her hair and hope it looks okay. Here is the piece of uh, cloth. It's square-ish. <laughs> So I'm going to, and here's her wild hair. Her hair is a mess. I'm going to, for the front part, I'm going to probably tuck this a little bit, tuck it sort of like this, as you can see on that end, and then try to get it around this top part and then glue it in the back. Push all the hair up and glue it in the back. So let's do that. Probably over overdid it as far as how far back it is. But I'm not going to worry about that. I should have tucked these ends and glued them down. So if you did something like this, glue your ends first. I might end up going back in and go ahead and glue those edges down so they don't get out of control. Let's go in and I face it upward into the hair and put them on top of ones that are already there just so I can make use of the twists. Hold it when I take this scarf over them they can hang down like that. And then push all this other hair somehow I'm still having a hard time with this scarf push all the other hair up in here and try to tame it it's just trying to get it to lay right is a challenge anyway you can see where I'm going with this I'm going to try to get it to lay correctly on the back I just pull it pull the scarf tightly and try to glue it down I'm pulling it past where I might have excess so that I can cut off that excess. There we go. There's our diva head. What do you think? I think she turned out great. 
It's just not a complex project. It's kind of simple. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, elegant, and that's it. That's a simple project that I hope you like. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.